Hundreds of family members and friends gathered at the family home of Shadi Najmi, one of the gunmen who opened fire on pedestrians in the coastal town of Netanya on Saturday. Shadi Najmi's father said he was very proud of his son's action. Whoever witnesses the atrocities committed against our people will be deeply emotionally affected, he says. Family and friends also gathered at the home of Saeed al Batar, the other gunman who opened fire in Atanya. His father has five more children. He says he hopes the others will show the same courage as their brother. If the young don't sacrifice themselves for the country, nobody else would come to liberate us, he says. As they say, it's a step forward towards Al Aqsa. Two hours after the attack in Netanya, Fuad Harani blew himself up in a crowded garden cafe in the center of Jerusalem, killing himself and 11 Israelis. Family members and friends gathered at his home in the refugee camp of Al Arud near Hebron. The mass members sprayed the outside of his home with acknowledgments of his martyrdom. The Israelis deserve this, says Fuad's sister. They don't deserve to live for another second. In the past week, the bloodiest in 17 months of fighting, 112 Palestinians and 55 Israelis have been killed.